Okay, the first thing you got to do is take off the 17 screws that they have on the back here. I could use a uh, screw gun, but I'm afraid that if it slips, I'm going to mar the bottom. Thankfully, they put the instructions on how to do this on the very back of the owner's manual. Now the FFT1, it does come with everything you're going to need. A little instruction pamphlet, it's got the, uh, the board and the four screws that will be needed. So once I get the pack panel off, I'll be right back. Okay, now I've got the screws removed and the bottom panel off. The FFT1 card will fit right in this slot here. I've seen on another video where they talk about the wire for the main connector is a wee bit tight, so that may take some uh, careful working. So I'll be back once I get that put in. It only goes in one way. I want to put it in as such. Okay, I've got the FFT1 board in, and yes, it is quite tight. So now I'm just going to throw the bottom back on, screw it up, and plug it in and see what we get. Okay, now we've got the FFT1 all installed and everything put back together and reconnected. Go ahead and power it on and show you what everything looks like. Gives you this extra AFFFT scope here that helps you with the zero beat. Hold it for scope for about one second and it brings up the CWD code. You can also decode uh, packets, RTTY. Thanks for taking the time to watch. If you've not done so, please subscribe and take a look at some of these other videos. If you have any comments, questions, or concerns, please leave them below. Thanks again.